Welcome to another episode of The Boss Experience, the podcast that helps you turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five income. My name is Michelle Davis and I'm your host. And I am super excited about today's topic, which is eight ways to deliver your irresistible coaching offer. Some of these may be a part of your irresistible offer, but may not be the primary offer or may not be the only thing you offer in your business. As you're building out your offer, how can you structure it in a way that's going to be impactful, that's going to solve a big problem, and that's going to work along the lines with where you feel you're most effective, right? Or how you feel you'll you'll be most effective. Not everyone is ready to throw themselves into a group coaching program, but some of these other methods may be something you may want to do. So I don't want to just lock you in. I don't want to box you in. I want you to think about different ways that you can deliver your coaching program. Okay, so let's hop into what some of those ways are. So the team creation offer is where you work with someone personally to create anything they want, basically, that fits into your expertise. And another way to think about this offer is called done with you offer. So you're working hand in hand with the client to actually take on a big part of something that they're working on. So let's say if you teach online entrepreneurs how to create online courses, you could partner with your client to help them put together their entire course from module outlines to the final product. This isn't just like your standard one-on-one where someone's going to, you know, sit down and talk to you for 60 to 90 minutes. The team creation offer is is an offer you can charge premium price for considering you're going to take on doing part of the work because it's your, it's part of your expertise. You're working with people who may not be able to take on this aspect of their business on their own without some sort of help. And so this is where you're coming in, you know, to actually help them do it. So that is the team creation offer. But I also want to share with you the pros and cons to this offer. So when you offer to help someone put something together, they view you as an expert. So on the one hand, you know, this is, of course, fabulous news because people are willing to pay top dollar for expertise. This means you, you know, of course, like I mentioned, you can make a lot of money with this type of offer. But just think about the fact that you're helping clients solve this big problem. Yes. But by being the hands, you're also going to take up a lot of your time. And so you're going to be limited in a way with the projects you complete. Next up is a 48-hour done-for-you offer. This is where you help people that are strapped for time, right? And the more time you save your clients, the more attractive your offer seems to prospective buyers. You know, if you feel like you have the time and you can put in the hours and and you have the clients coming in and you're in a position to turn around work in 48 hours, this is good for you. And you can you can also get creative. It doesn't have to be 48 hours. Maybe you can make it a 72 hour done for you. Okay. And depends on what you're doing. So creating an offer that's highly valuable to your clients in a very short window of time is what people will pay you for. You're solving a big problem. They're down to the crunch and they really need help and they don't need you on an ongoing basis, but maybe they need, you know, you to help them do whatever it is that they need to do and have this quick turnaround. So let's say you're a copywriter. You could offer to write a sales page for your clients in 48 hours, 72 hours, or whatever the case may be from start to finish. The goal here is quick turnaround. And you have to make sure that you're not advertising something that you can't meet or that you know exactly what you can do in that time frame. And you would complete the work. Now, let's look at the advantages and disadvantages of this type of offer. So speed is the name of the game. And you have to think, what kind of work are you able to do quickly? So you'd want to have a menu of services that you can do pretty quickly. And your whole goal here is, you know, because you have the expertise and and it may 
be in graphic design. It may be in tech. It may be in something else. You can turn around things really, really quickly. And soon AI is going to be another, another one. Podcasting is a big one. Being able to turn around, you know, an entire episode with show notes and all of those things. That's another thing people would pay for. The goal here is your expert, whatever your expertise is, is for you to capitalize on it in this offer where you quickly turn around the project and you get it back to your client. So of course, the benefit here is pricing. You can charge a premium rate without hesitation because you're doing things at lightning speed and you're doing it for them. So all they have to do is basically use what you've already completed for them. And it, they can get things done quick, quicker than if they sat and they did it themselves. You save them time and money. Another big benefit to this offer is there's less client management required. So not everyone wants to work with someone for 30 days, 60 days, or 90 days, or six months, or 12 months. People tend to like having the quick turnaround in clients. So you don't have a lot of the client management issues. Now, what you do have is, you know, the person that may not know exactly what they want. When that happens, you may end up producing something that they may not be totally happy with. So yes, you can quickly turn things around, but you would have to build this model out in a way where you fully vet the person and you don't want an inflexible client or someone who's scattered brain. You want to focus them in. You want to get them, you know, to sign off on an agreement that contains, you know, what the scope of work is for the project. And you want to move it along because if you let people who are scattered brain don't really know what they want, they next thing you know, after the 48 hours, the 48 hours turns into a two week project because they want to go back and forth with the different changes. So you're going to have to put some limitations on this type of work. You're going to have to tell the client, like, listen, because we're working on a short time frame, once we define what the project is, it's locked in and it's a 48-hour turnaround. But don't ever start a job or start a project without having received some form of payment. So next up is your 15-minute coach offer. This is also referred to as like laser coaching, right? You have people who may be planning a launch or they may be planning different. When I say a launch, I'm thinking business, business to business, or you have someone that may be doing a workout and they want to do it themselves, but they need someone who they can bounce ideas off of, someone who they can contact if they run into trouble. Not everyone wants to have like a full-time coach that's going to work with them over a set amount of time. So you can still help them reach their deadlines and get them through a major project, but it's just in 15-minute time blocks. And there's different ways to do this. You know, one could be where people, someone would have you on retainer to deliver advice for them. And that's great if you have someone that you've worked with in the past, you know, through consulting work and they want to be able to contact you in the future, you can have them sign on with you as as a retainer, you know, as a retainer client. But also you can use this 15 minute coach model to really help people with a major project. Maybe they just need to know where to start and they need to walk through the different steps to their project. And so they may not be able to put those ideas together. This could be someone in a nine to five. Maybe you're an expert in some aspect of, you know, corporate presentations or corporate training and or some ex- other expertise that could help someone who's in a regular nine to five. Maybe they're in the corporate world and they need help with it, with a particular aspect of the person's job. So it's, it really boils down to what is your expertise? And this is a way for also you can use it as an accountability partner where you kind of come in and you make sure they're accountable. You you walk them through, you see where they're at, and you make through, sure that they stay on track with their project. What are some pros and cons to this particular model? An obvious pro is this kind of offer is, you know, you get to charge a premium fee for this service. 
because it's high touch with lots of personal interaction between you and your client. And when you use free or low cost options to conduct your client check-ins, Zoom, Voxer, or some of the other things that may be out there, there's a potential for this offer to be profitable because of the low overhead. It's something that you can do pretty easy from anywhere if you need to hop on a call for 15 minutes because people are paying for your expertise. And so if you have deep expertise in something, you can actually navigate them through. It could be tech. It could be any number of things. The other cool thing about this offer is you, you know, you um, build relationships with people. And so they may hire you over and over again, or, or you'll be the first to come to mind when they have their next project. And because this offer is like 15 minute intervals with each client, you have quite a bit of flexibility. You know, this leaves time in your schedule to devote to other clients as well. And it's and it's pretty low commitment, in you know, when you think about it in terms of how much time you have to exert to actually, you know, work with someone. But while there are several advantages to launching this type of offer, there are a number of disadvantages as well. So you'll have less freedom than if you were to implement a more passive offer than, you know, like the 48 hour done for you that I mentioned, where you're not checking in with them over such a long period of time, because you could, with the 15 minute offer, you could be actually working with this person over the course of the project. So how long is the project? You know, if it's a construction project, it's probably a long time. If it's like a a project at work, a merger or some other type of project, maybe it's, you know, six months. It, you know, it it just depends on what your expertise is, whether or not this is going to be a project that's right for you. And you'll have to come up with a way to track where each client is in their process. That's another disadvantage. So this can get complicated if you're working with, let's say, five or eight different clients. And they're all in different places. And so you have to essentially have different timelines to track them. But anyway, so that is the 15-minute coaching offer. And then you have the bundle offer. You can do something like, you know, where you have a five-session bundle that walks people through what they need to do. Or you have, you know, three-session bundle. And, And that way, instead of charging someone a couple hundred dollars, you know, to sit down with you for 60 or 90 minutes, you're charging someone a a much higher rate because they're committing to have three sessions with you instead of a one-off session. And so it depends on, you know, how you want to bundle it, what problem you want to tackle when you think about this, this type of offer. Because if you're tackling a complex issue, then maybe a five session bundle would do the trick. And then you could charge you know, well over a thousand dollars or more for the service. And then you could pair it up maybe with the 15 minute coaching as a laser coaching model where you have the bundle and then you have follow up as well, where you follow up with them over an implementation period. So there's different ways to think about these different models, but there's pros and cons when you think about this bundle offer. The con is, is you wouldn't really get to that $3,000 mark when you think of the premium pricing, but there are some advantages. So the biggest advantage probably for this offer is you don't have to create anything new if you don't want to, because you're basing what you do off of working with the clients. And you can actually attach this bundle to other things as well. Maybe you attach this five session bundle to your group coaching program where or your course, you know, where you upsell them. You sell them the course, but you upsell them the bundle so that they can, you know, have that personal interaction with you and they pay up front for the three or the five sessions so they can actually successfully implement what's in what's in the course. So, you know, those are advantages. And while bundles are super, super easy to automate and systematize and all of that, you know, they they can be a hard sell to a cold, cold audience. You know, people may say, you know, I don't know if I need three sessions or I don't know if I need five sessions. You want to consider having this, you know, attached to another offer to make it something that's worthwhile to people because people know one-on-one, they know group coaching, 
But when they think about a bundle, they may not really want to commit to three to five sessions. But when you attach it onto something else, it becomes more appealing. So that is the bundle. Next is your one day workshop. Like, let's say if you're coming from a corporate background and maybe you do a one day workshop on a training that you have in depth knowledge about. I know when I was in the nonprofit world, one of the things that we constantly had people do one day trainings on was things like motivational interviewing, how to connect and talk to people. We had training about how, uh, what was it, trauma informed care, how to be more trauma informed, meaning recognizing that the people we work with have experienced trauma and being able to not further trigger that trauma through our services and the way we interact with them. You have to think about what is your expertise in. And this is where you would put on your consulting hat and not necessarily as a coach, but as a consultant, Where what industry are you coming from and what do you have to contribute to that industry? Can you take the experience that you have and apply it to a different industry and conduct these one day workshops? So a one day workshop, you know, when you think about the pros is you know, first off, you can use it as a tool to promote your hire and offers. You get to build relationships. People can hire you for other things, all while you're still getting paid to deliver the one day workshop. Second is you can record it once and repackage the recording and sell the recording on your website or through some other means to other companies who have the same problem. And this way, they may not be getting the one-on-one one attention, but maybe they can show it in, you know, to their team and still get the same results. So when you think about the disadvantages, you would have to have people sign some sort of agreement, letting them know you own the rights to the content and that as the owner of it, you have the right to do whatever it is you want to. So that ownership piece is super important. And then there's group coaching. So group coaching is probably the most scalable method that you can use to grow your business because you're delivering your message to many all at the same time. So definitely, definitely, definitely consider group coaching. Now, there are some cons to group coaching. I'm not going to share that it's all, you know, peaches and cream and roses, right? And while in charge, you know, thousands of dollars to help someone achieve a transformation or get a result. You have to be able to interact with people, like people, answer their questions. But one of the cons is, you know, group coaching programs are tricky to get off the ground because people actually have to show up to your group coaching program. And if you have a low number of clients in the program, and you know, or no clients in the program and your first client shows up on the on the coach live coaching call and no one else is there, it could really impact your group experience. Now, a lot of people have grown accustomed to wanting to have recordings of things and watch things on their own time. That's also a con because it's like on the one hand, you can't say to people, oh, you only have one chance to catch this presentation. You have to offer some form of recording for people. So another con is you need storage for that. So yes, you could use your Google Drive, but the storage is very limited you know, when it comes to where you're going to store your recordings, which is why it's really super important for you to have a video storage option to deliver your group coaching program. Okay, so let's talk about the VIP day. And this is a way for you to work one-on-one with a client and help them get a big result. And VIP days can either be spread over you know, the course of two days or, you know, where you may work with someone two days for four hours, or maybe you work with them for the full day or like a six hour day. I wouldn't do any longer than that, but it does require a great deal of planning because you have to be clear on the result that you're going to be delivering to them on the day of the event. So the thing you want to do is you want to have a schedule. So you want to map out what the schedule is going to be you know, for that time, because you have to factor in breaks. You have to think about, you know, the flow of the VIP day. These are work sessions. 
you know, VIP days or work sessions. It's not something where they're going to come listen to you. So at the end of the time that they leave you in this session, that they actually have a solid plan. And VIP days, just like all of these other models can be done virtually or they can be done in person. But VIP days, I wouldn't charge less than two grand for them. Okay. But VIP days are very lucrative, but they do have some downsides. So they take a lot of time to plan because you're working on a very short timeline and you want to make sure that you know you know what you're covering at each segment of the schedule. And things can get out of hand fast if you don't have things structured properly. And when things get out of hand, the biggest thing that can happen is your client won't get what they paid for by working with you on this VIP day. And it's a really very structured way to deliver your expertise. But, you know, you can charge a, a, a good amount for it. You can do two of these a month. You'll definitely want, you know, to have a curriculum. So you have to set that for the day. And you definitely want to make sure you're, you're you know, you're following within your expertise so that you only do VIP days around whatever it is that you're, ex- you're an expert in. You don't want to switch off on expertise because that's how things get crazy real fast. Okay. So yes, you may have expertise in other areas and it may be tempting to help people in other areas, but things can get out of hand very, very quickly if you do that. And you just want to make sure that, you know, you're the expert in the one thing. You're the expert in weight loss for women over 40 or menopausal women. You're the expert in credit repair, and helping people increase their credit score. You know, whatever it is that you're an expert in, that's what you want to make sure you're focused in on. And that's what your VIP day should be around. Next is live events and retreats. And this is actually the last thing on the list. So live events require a lot of work and a lot of time to plan. And, you know, you have some people who will do the event where it's around a certain theme and they'll do live events where they have people come out for a day. And then you have retreats where you plan out a whole weekend for people. But having done events myself, I know how much time it takes to create a big event. Because, you know, when you think about these live events and retreats, you're thinking about what you're going to sell. You know, if you're selling a book or you're selling something else, you also have to think, you know, do you need to partner with other people? What do you need to do to pull this off? And so there's a lot that goes on as it relates to creating, you know, retreats and live event experiences, because it's really about the experience, you know, but you can charge quite a bit of money for a retreat, a retreat and live event. You know, these are the higher end type of offers you can have. But before you get to this point, somebody has to come out with a big result after So you have to be prepared for what that experience actually looks like and delivering an experience that's memorable, that they're going to feel is well worth the journey. And you can make it an annual thing or a twice a year thing. It it can be lucrative, but it requires such a great deal of planning. Starting out, you may not want to do that, but maybe once you've done some of the other offers, maybe then you want to start launching your retreats. That way you you've started to build your community where it becomes people that have already worked with you. They know you, they trust you. And now they're taking the next step with you and they're coming to your retreats and live events. So there's so many ways to really think these things through and to think through your coaching offer. You just have to be creative and not just think of things through one lens you know, think of it in different in different ways and aspects of how you can actually deliver. I think it's really important, especially as you're developing your offer, that you really are solid on the different types of offers that you can provide. So I thought I would focus here because this is a good place to start. And remember, where you start doesn't have to be where you finish. And, you know, look at these to really put together your ideas and see if the offer is going to be right for you and your business and how can you package the different offers, you know, for people to really 
get the best from your services because there's so many ways to package up your expertise. It's not just in a group coaching program and it's not just in a one-on-one session. So with that being said, thank you for tuning in to this episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the podcast. And if you're interested in learning how to turn your expertise into an online coaching business that replaces your nine to five, visit ceoblueprintacademy.com. That's ceoblueprintacademy.com. And once again, thanks for tuning in. And I hope you'll tune in to a future episode of the Boss Experience Podcast. That's a wrap. Be well and take care.